are because as we speak, they are the ones collecting taxes. And indeed, they are taxing Kenyans. Heavy. Heavy. We cannot stop continuing to remind them that as they collect those taxes, they are under an obligation. I'm talking about Ruto specifically. As he continues to overtax us, he has he is under obligation to ensure that those those taxes are utilized properly. Yesterday when I was at Rome, I said that how comes this government continues to collect more and more money every other day? The revenue authority is saying they have hit the target. In fact, they have surpassed their revenue targets. The citizen, the e-citizen platform is collecting no less than 3.5 billion shillings every single day. And yet we cannot see where this money is going. For now three months, the county governments have not received their disbursements. And workers are almost going down to less. You know, schools opened yesterday, I think last week, on Monday. And for months are joining school on this coming month. And yet there is no single coin that has come from National Treasury to address the issue of bursaries for these poor children. And yet Ruto and his court continue to tax and overtax and overtax Kenyans. And they are protecting this money. We want to know where this money is going. Tomorrow video. And many other Kenyans who are, who are on, on, pay, on payrolls. You remember the enforced housing levy. The housing levy is unconstitutional. That the only way it will stand is if it is rectified. And Kenyans are given a chance to participate or to give their views. And Parliament published two shorter notices for public participation. And the courts again declared that notice unconstitutional. Now we, wonder, now we are wondering really. The courts have pronounced themselves. And now Parliament, through Speaker Wetambu, I know Bungo are here. The Speaker Wetambu is setting a very President. Very, very dangerous president. Because the courts have declared that public participation notice too short and therefore unconstitutional. Yes. And is going ahead to publish another notice before the matter is heard and determined in court. In short, he is committed contempt of court. And I will be asking the litigants to file content proceedings against the Sangula and parliament leadership. We cannot afford to continue paying illegal levies such as housing levies. Yes. 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 There is nobody who has been vilified and misled by courts like you. And in all these occasions, you have always agreed to agree with the decisions of the court. In 2013, for example, Baba, there was nothing that would have stopped you and us from going to status and evacuating those guys and taking over power. But because the court said that the other one is the president, you, you, you agreed with the decision. Even though you disagree with it, you agreed to comply with the decision. Therefore, our view is that there is, Kenyans have no option but to agree with the decisions of the court. Because we have no other instrument of governance. Our instrument of governance is the constitution and the constitution says that if there is a statement and there is a disagreement, you take those matters to court. Therefore, when somebody says that he is going to defy court decisions, that person is not living in the, in the current, current Kenya. And we want to remind that person that Kenya is a constitutional democracy where decisions and disagreements are resolved through the court process. So, William Ruto, wherever you are and you are acolytes, we are telling you that we are not going to allow you to defy court orders. Court decisions must be respected. Yes.